first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this front variator sheave and we're going to inspect our splines and be sure none of the splines are wore down. Then we're going to remove our belt. This belt is a good belt. If you broke a belt, we're going to show you what you have to do when you put a new belt on. First thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the variator from the cart. In the back side of the variator, we have six rollers. These rollers here will fall out of position and be oblong in here whenever you break a belt. They're going to fall out. You must take out your roller. You're going to look it over. Check for any flat spots or excessive wear. Clean out all your clutch on the inside and when you've cleaned it out all the rollers should go back in position here. We don't use a grease on it. If you want to use a dry graphite that's fine. The second thing you're going to do you're going to check these little slides right here, the bushings. Make sure they're not wore so that the plate's not sliding around and allowing these to hang up. The roller must flow freely for the clutch to work properly. The next thing that we like to check is your rear clutch. We're going to pull it off. We're going to inspect the drum, make sure it's not blued and been really hot. This one looks really good. We're going to check our shoe wear, which this one does look good, and we're going to check our tension on our springs. You should have very little movement in any of these springs at all. If one of them has a lot of slack, you've got a weak clutch and you're going to need to replace that clutch. You can also check the bearing inside of that clutch. It's a needle bearing on the back side right here. You can put your finger in and roll it freely. If you choose to do so, you can put a white lubricant grease in it or a very light, light grease and a very small amount on it. Now we're ready to start putting it back together because this clutch looks really good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the rear clutch on. We're going to put the drum on it and tighten it in position. The next step we're going to do, we've cleaned and inspected our front variator. We're going to slide the back half of the variator onto the cart. And what you have to do here, you have to hold this plate against those rollers so they do not fall out as you slide it on the, to the cart. You can see Scott's holding it with his fingers and he's pushing here, not on the pin. And now that he's all the way on, he's going to put his belt on. You're going to start it around the rear pulley. And you've got to pull open this pulley. Let it go, Scott. You'll pull this open, and if you twist a little, it'll open easily for you. Just like this. Now you're going to put the belt all the way up in it. Just like Scott did there. Now we're going to go to the front. The belt should slide freely around the front now with a lot of slack. That allows you to put the sheave back on the outside of the variator without any pressure, without any pressure on the splines so that when you tighten the nut you do not strip the front splines out. And we're going to tighten it up with an impact just like we did the rear. At this point you can roll your rear clutch. Usually you can't spring it back much until you start the engine and the front one will pull in and pull the back back into position for you. If you choose to run your cart prior to putting the cover back on it to make sure your belt's in position. Most carts have the ground wires hooked up here and you'll have to rehook them up in position. 
This one is hooked to the starter so we don't have to do that. And we'll go ahead and start it and show you how the clutch will go back in position. Go ahead.